Your prosperity and abundance of money do not depend on others or the economy or wherever you are in the universe and in every coin of the realm. An excerpt from page 17 of Money is Looking for You by Iman Robert. Welcome to P English Literature, a YouTube channel that conveys Amazon, Goodread, blog, and video book reviews coupled with interviews with authors. It's a perfect channel for book lovers, authors, and writers generally. P English Literature, the exact channel for you and me. Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and to the review of Money is Looking for You by Iman Robert. This is a kind of a book that I find quite amazing. It delves into the topic of money, into the topic of wealth accumulation, the topic of wealth acquisition and the psychology of the human mind. I actually find this book quite enjoyable it's a sort of a nice read to me and while i read it i find it quite awesome because it's talking about how to acquire wealth as human being it's talking about how we can gain wealth the basic principles that we need to know in order to acquire wealth just like the subtitle is written in front page of the book that the secret principles of attracting unlimited money into your life you know, the book is actually a short read, but it is short and powerful. It is short, but it's informative. It is short, but it is absolutely didactic. It is absolutely, you know, instructive. And it has a lot of life-saving information to convey in it. While I read through it, some of the points that were expounded in the book had me resonating on Morgan also The Psychology of Learning, which I read in Time Facts. So the book is actually all you need to know for what acquisition. It fell under the genre of self-help, but it's very, very didactic. It is actually very short. The sort of information that is contained in it is quite very nice. And, you know, I so much love it. And I jot some quotes down, which I'm going to imbibe later in my life. This review is actually going to be a very short one because I don't want to talk too much about it. I'm just going to give you a short video book recommendation for you to have an idea of what Eman Robert has had to tell in its book, Money is Looking for You. So, before I proceed in my review, I'd love to read to you the about the author. Iman Robert, aka The Money Man, is an international author of self-help book. Using mind power and psychology of money to set the tone for his writing career, to awaken, uplift, and empower the readers. Iman is a strong believer in how to permanently eliminate and completely erase the idea of poverty out of the consciousness of mankind. Peace, good health, happiness, love, prosperity, and more money you know when i read through the book i was like i love the author's description of poverty it described poverty and wealth like someone who has experienced it it is you know very informative it asks a lot of life-saving information and it's information that you will read and you keep thinking about long after you've read it i actually love the book because it speaks to me in person so i'd love to read to you the synopsis of Money is looking for you. Money is looking for you will take you deeper into a new world of financial success, prosperity, and abundance of money beyond your fondest dreams. It will give you more mind-blowing insight about manifesting more financial freedom by using your mind power to get more green powers, in bracket, money. You are requested to diligently study and apply the secret principles as stated in the book to draw an abundance of money into your experience and all the goods you truly desire. And that's one thing I can say about this book. You know, in my own perception, it's a kind of book that you need to read gradually. It's a kind of book that you need to read and get back to after. It's not something that you can just read and throw away because i feel like it asks some sort of principles 
that we human beings need to apply in our life after reading. And you know, it's actually something that I love so much. Like I said, it actually relates to the best-selling book, The Psychology of Money, because there are a lot of information that I hear that I'm not so much familiar with. There are a lot of quotes, a lot of facts that were mentioned in the book that are entirely new to me. And I was like, wow, this is very, very interesting. This is, you know, a cogent fact. This is reality. And I was like, how have I mixed this sort of information for a very long time? From reading this book, I had a sort of a change in my perception of how I address money. Well, I don't have a bad perception towards it, but the book gave me a more you know, intrinsic way. It gives me a more better way, a more, you know, insightful way in order to look at money in a deep sense, in a psychological manner. And I love to say that some of the concepts or some of the subject of the book expound on the power of the human mind, the psychology of the human mind. It seeks to expound on the importance of human mind towards the actualization of whatsoever they desire. And this is something that I think it's actually a very true, you know, fact. One of my most admirable trait about it is the way the author described poverty towards the beginning chapters. I was like, wow, this is very interesting. There's a way the, the writer pulled someone in and I was like, wow, this is very amazing. We all know that knowledge is power and the accumulation of knowledge would save a bit of humanity. The accumulation of wealth is going to save almost everyone. And you know, we all live in a kind of world whereby money is important to do almost everything. Whereby money is very imperative. Whereby money is very important. And it basically answers it all like the Bible say. Whereby money is also even essential when it comes to dream realization. And you know, it is now very important for we human beings to be able to get resources like this that would help us to acquire such kind of wisdom, knowledge that we need in order to acquire wealth, in order to acquire prosperity. There is power in information and you know the access to information is something that can change our lives and like I've always said just like there is power in reading books because books can actually change human life book change your psychology so as well as you know you have an information towards a particular subject or topic that you are not knowledgeable about would give you a sort of a different insight on how you perceive things. It will give you a sort of a different insight on your outlook about some, you know, cogent thing. And I so much love this book, even with the fact that some of the points expounded there stylishly resonate with some biblical reality. Like, I love that trait about the book. It's somewhat biblical, while some other parts are based on the auto perception are based on hard truth, reality, and you know, informations that are very deep into the existence of the human nation. The book also went further and detailed the inebriated perception, psychological perception that some people have towards money. And I don't know of other places, this is something that is very predominant among people. I've heard people say some negative things about money. Like I mentioned in my written review, the book is like a savior. It's coming to observe, to correct, and to instruct, and to point the way to the reader and make some necessary adjustment that need to be made towards the outlook of money. You know, we hear people say that money is root of all evil or some other sort of, you know, some quote about money. And this book actually came in as, as a teacher and points out to those experts those sort of wrong perception that people have towards money and its entirety and begin to correct it. I need to say that I love the author's taste on the psychology of the human mind. You know, whatsoever a man is going to become in life will first start from his perception, will start from his inner mind. And there are a lot of issues with the human mind with the human psychology which the author came in to correct and you know give us a sort of a nice outlook on how we address financial issues honestly if a kind of person that needs 
financial freedom. If you're kind of person that need to know more about the intake of money entirely, the basic fact that you need towards the accumulation of wealth, then I would so much recommend you get a copy of Money is Looking For You by Robert Iman. The book talk about the power of the mind, the power of visualization, the power of words, the power of money affirmation, and several other themes that I find very absorbing, that I find quite captivating in the book. You know, I don't want to talk too much about this book. I just want to give you a short video book recommendation of Money is Looking for You. So if you'd like to get a copy of this book, I left a link in the description part of this video for you to get a copy directly on Amazon. There is much to this book than I have described in this review. There is much to this book than I have illustrated. I just want to give you a short video book recommendation so you can have an idea of what is contained in Iman Robot's Money is Looking for You. If you watch this video to this point and you're yet to click on the subscribe button, I want to urge you to please click on the subscribe button over there. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you can get to the file anytime I release new videos. Thank you very much for watching my video book review of Iman Robot's Money is Looking for You. See you in my next video.